So then what is Caring Dads? What is this intervention program? So Caring Dads actually has three components. Um, the component that you might be most familiar with is an intervention group. Uh, that group starts with an individual intake. We, uh, the intervention is 16 or 17 weeks long. There's an individual meeting between you, the dad, and the Caring Dads facilitators partway through. And there are groups of about uh, 12 men in each group. Also part of Caring Dads, we do mother contact. Uh, so we contact uh, the, the CAS mother's advocate, con contacts her to um, provide her with information and to do some safety planning with her. And there's a model of shared collaborative information sharing between you as the referrer and the Caring Dads program. In terms of the program itself, um, the program has four major goals. The first goal of the program is really about engagement. Um, to think about what do we need to do to get men in the room and to develop sufficient trust and motivation to address uh, or to start to think about their fathering. So that's the focus of our intake interview and also for the first three sessions of group work. We make very deliberate use of a strategy called motivational interviewing to get and to keep men engaged. And really what we want by the end of the third session is a guy who's willing to say that something like, you know, maybe some of the choices I've made have contributed to the situation that I find myself in and perhaps there's something I can do to make it better. I'm the adult, so, you know, no matter whose fault it is, I'm going to have to figure out a way to fix this and yes, I'll be coming back next week. This is a place that seems to be a place that can help me. I guess the other thing you need to know about those early sessions is that we introduce um, thinking about dads in a number of different ways, but one of them um, is an exercise where we talk about um, a great dad, just a dad, uh, and deal breakers. And this is language you might find fathers starting to use. So for us, identifying a just a dad things are things that really are good enough fathering. They're not great fathering, but they're good enough as opposed to deal breakers, which are things um, that are traumatic and abusive and harmful to children. So after we set that groundwork, we move on to thinking about child-centered fathering. And child-centered fathering for us also includes respectful and non-abusive treatment of kids' moms. We outline for dads uh, what we look at as a continuum of parent-centered to child-centered parenting. So parenting decisions that are really made with the child in mind, um, trying to meet the child's needs as opposed to parent-centered ones, which are uh, actions that are potentially abusive and harmful, and also actions that are really taken with the needs of the parent in mind rather than the child. So we use this continuum as the basis for all of our next sessions, which focus on um, understanding child development, focus on how well dads know their kids and what's their emotional connection like. Um, we talk a little bit about listening and praising and playing with children. And we talk about fathers as part of families, in particular fathers as co-parents with kids' moms. So in these topics, you might be thinking, you know, isn't this just like a parenting program? And um, it is true that some of the components of this program are similar to what you might find in a parenting program. But no, this is not the same thing. There's a, 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 a few ways for that. One is, in everything that we do, we are consistently um, addressing and considering domestic violence and the relationship that dads have with moms as well as the relationship they have with kids. Another thing you should know is that we are not prescriptive about good parenting. So in this group we're not talking to dads about here's you know the correct discipline or child management strategies. What we look at instead are you know what is the situation for this child in each specific situation and with each specific child what is it like to be that child and what does what do dads need to do to meet these kids needs um, and so in this our intention really remains firmly on how men can change their fathering to reduce risk how can men make sure that they're safe around their kids, as opposed to how men can more effectively manage child behavior or misbehavior? After we've done that, we turn to our third goal, which is really recognizing and challenging abuse and neglect. Here's time to really change. This is where the rubber hits the road for these guys. This is when the program also meets with you. And so here we meet to uh, clarify goals and to set concrete individualized behavior change goals that we can practice and we can monitor with men.
We'll talk a little bit more about that when we talk about signs of safety, but if we think about the father in the earlier scenario, some of the goals that we might have for him, some of the things we might want to understand are, you know, for this dad, helping him to understand that to make things better is going to require that he recognize that his children and his partner were terrified. He's really broken that contract of safety with his kids and he's abused them. So he needs to um, recognize that his partner's kids have been impacted by that and that his partner might not actually feel safe with access. So he needs to stop pressuring her to have access in this way and stop pressuring her to get back together and instead start to focus on the needs of the kids in those interactions. So then after we've done that, uh, we then turn the, to the last couple sessions, which are thinking about uh, rebuilding trust, planning for future. This is really a reality check set, set of sections. You know, what, what, can, what has changed, what needs to happen next, and what can we expect in terms of the amount of time it's going to take for the people in, in his family to trust him again. And I guess the one other thing that you need to know about that is that uh, the, a core principle of caring dads, and this is a reminder, is that um, we believe that father's involvement should have the potential to benefit children regardless of whether or not men progress or don't in change. So that as we come to this last section, if men haven't changed, we then need to be working with you to have some difficult conversations with dads and to do some planning about how we're going to leverage our relationship and leverage the work that we've done to make sure that kids are safe. Um, whether that means talking to dads about um, how to make contact safety, about complying with no contact orders, about complying with supervision orders. Mm -hmm.